Howdy there, folks. This is Luke Charles Kuhn at Kuhn Truck and RV, your little RV specialist. Started by our mom and dad in 1976, we are proud to be a second-generation, family-owned and operated business. My friends call me Luke and my sisters call me Charlie, but you can call me anytime at 440-OHIO-RVs. A member of our growing team would be happy to help you. Please check out our website at truckandrv.com to view all of our inventory. Again, that's truckandrv.com. There's a direct link to this particular RV in the video description below. If you follow that link, it will take you to our website where you can see the pricing and information on this unit. Once this unit is sold, that link will be removed. We are a full-service dealer offering a warranty as well as financing packages. If you have any questions, please give us a call at 440-OHIO-RVs. Again, that's 440-OHIO-RVS. For sale today, we have a 2001 American Cruiser RE2000XD with 81,629 miles. Alrighty, folks, here we are inside of this 2001 American Cruiser RE2000XD. As usual, I'm going to start in the front, work my way towards the rear. I'm going to do my best to give you a good idea of the overall floor plan as well as the overall condition of this unit. Here at Coon Truck and RV, we are proud to be a second generation family owned and operated business. All of these RVs go through the same inspection process that includes us checking out all the RV systems, servicing those things, and the mechanical side of things on the chassis. We will go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, answer any questions you may have, and make sure you are ready to go on your RV adventure. We've got a mix of hard surface flooring and carpet in this one. We've got about 75 inches of headroom here in the main part, about 70 and a half inches here at this casement edge. We've got a fantastic fan here that can act like an attic fan at night. If you open up the windows in here, turn this on, it'll bring the cool outside air in. This runs on the coach battery. Got a TV antenna up here. You can crank that up and down, aim that where you'd like. You do not want to drive around with that up. Got a spot here with where a smoke detector would have been in the past. Got some light switches here. We've got your coach battery disconnect that disconnects the coach battery to prevent parasitic draw. That also disconnects the charging systems, which are the generator, the shore power plug-in, and the alternator while you drive. Got a generator start stop switch here. That's an Onan 2800 that runs off the fuel tank that has 103 hours as a fresh service, fresh oil change by our certified Onan techs. We've got your fuse panel and breaker box here. Got a noxious gas detector and AC power. Got another noxious gas detector down here. This is actually not a noxious gas detector. It's a heart interface monitor panel for the inverter. So this is all wired up beneath this dinette seat here. and goes to the inverter back there. That's a pretty big inverter. It's hard to see exactly on the front of the face how big it is. I think it's a 2000 watt from comparing it to other online models. That basically is taking your DC coach battery power and turning that into AC power. The amount of power and things you can use in here will be limited by the size of the inverter and the amount of charge you have in your coach batteries. Got windows that open on this side and this side here with screens. You can pull this shade up for privacy. got the thermostat to control the propane furnace. Furnace is located right there. Got the air conditioner right here. This runs on AC power, so your plug-in or your generator only. The furnace runs off of propane gas to make the heat. Uses the coach battery to run the fan. A little spot below the AC. Nice little mood light there. These speakers that you see in the coach underneath are controlled via this head unit over here up front. So if you'd like to listen to music through those speakers, we've got auxiliary in, USB, Bluetooth, tuner, CD player, lots of options there. Got windows that open here on the driver's side screens on the side portions got the same shade down below you can't quite see it here very well so with this sleeping setup we've got basically a twin bed here you can take these cushions off to give you more space to sleep and you can drop the dinette table down and make this bed up i'm gonna put some pictures here now so you can see what that looks like and get some measurements the couch bed measures approximately 71 and a half inches long and 28 inches wide the dinette bed measures approximately 73 inches long and 27 inches wide. 
Moving now into the kitchen area in the center of the coach. Got a microwave. This runs on AC power, so you're plugging in your generator. A little spice rack there. That remote is for the air conditioner. We got a countertop extension here. So you can pull this guy out here to get some more counter space. We've got a three-way Norcold fridge freezer. Put your freezer up top directions in the bottom for you it's a three-way meaning it runs on ac power so your shore power plug-in or your generator dc power meaning the coach battery or propane gas got a little converter there for your 30 amp shore power cord got a nice aluminum backsplash here in the kitchen two burner propane cooktop and a nice sink with some counter space there drawers AC power you can see some of the age wear and tear on these cabinets nothing that looks yucky stuff you'd expect in a 2001 got your levels test here for your gray black and freshwater tank those are notoriously finicky we've also got a battery level test and your propane gas Turn the water heater on and off there on the left, that ignites itself. Turn your water pump on on the bottom right. That will pump the water out of the onboard fresh water tank to your sink, shower, and toilet. Got a couple light switches here. Nice, easily accessible entryway. You have a screen door here as well. Go ahead and check out the bathroom. A little exhaust fan there overhead pull a shower curtain around you got a nice big bathroom here on this camper van this is uniquely big I would say it's got a fiberglass room here I get inside of here use the toilet do all your business everything's gonna drain into the floor there got three drawers just like this Nice big closet. Here we are standing in the rear of the camper van. What do you call a bulletproof Irishman? Rick O'Shea. Flip you around here. Got a board that's been replaced here. A little crack there. Other marks like that in age here that I'm surely missing. But all in all, this is a nice looking unit. TV in here. Got your DV player. I think we already checked that out earlier, actually. So all in all, nice looking unit here. This has gone through our full inspection process. All the systems are in good functioning order. We'll go through a full demo with you at the time of sale, show you all that stuff working. Units like this can be tough to grade as the stuff that's wrong with this one is cosmetic stuff like the stripes on the outside you're going to see here momentarily. Inside, I think this one actually shows better than it does on the outside. Um, so while some things like that are tough to rate because it doesn't really affect the fun you can have in the RV, I'm going to say this one would be a 7.5 to an 8, depending on how you want to fault it for the cosmetic blemishes. I'm going to call this one an 8 out of 10. Check it out at truckandrv.com. Coon Truck and RV, the best little RV dealer around since 1976 and home of the RV brothers. Here in the cabin area, we've got power windows, power locks, power mirrors, tilt, cruise, CD player. Upholstery is in good condition. Carpet's in good condition. Not seeing any signs of smoking in the form of burn marks. No stains, no funny smells. Cigarette lighter is unused, so while it's tough to say for sure, I'm going to call this one a non-smoker. Got a glove box there. Also got this privacy curtain you can pull around the front for privacy while you're parked. Alrighty, folks, we're going to go around the outside of this 2001 American Cruiser RE2000. This RV measures 20 and a half feet bumper to bumper with an 11-foot manual awning. 
The front tires are brand new and the rear tires have 2017 date codes. This is a dually RV. This American Cruiser is built on a Dodge 3500 chassis with a 5.9 liter V8 engine with 81,729 miles. As you can see, we've got some decal fading throughout on this unit. This unit came from down south. It's pretty typical when they get sun. Got two coach batteries. Got your propane tank. It's a valve to turn that on and off there. Got a gauge there as well. These speakers are controlled from the head unit up inside that controls the speakers in the coach. These two speakers are not very loud. They do work, uh, but if you want loud music, you're probably better off with a Bluetooth speaker at the back of the water heater, back of the refrigerator. Got your furnace exhaust. Got some porch lights on the outside. Two 110 outlets to plug things in beneath the awning. Got the fill for the onboard fresh water tank. The rear entry step here, we do have a tow package, a full size spare, another porch light. As you can see, the decals on both sides are similar. However, the fiberglass shined up pretty well. We've got the city water connection, shore power connection, coax and TV, or excuse me, coax and telephone in. That's your outside shower. It's nice for pets or kids, or if you're at the beach. Got your sewer dump there. Got a sewer hose storage. This just has one big tank for the black and the gray. So just one valve there, you'll pull open. Everything's gonna come out of that tube. Got some yellowing here on this trim piece as well from Age and UV. Got an awning here you can pull out over top of this window. So you're not really gonna sit underneath this awning. It's more to provide shade for this window. Got the back of the air conditioner. Got the fuel fill for the engine and the generator. Generator will stop running around a quarter tank so you cannot strand yourself. Got storage here you can access from the inside of the coach there. Get your shore power cord. Got a little storage bay there. paint chipping there some cracks from age on the paint and uv on the stripes but all in all fiberglass is in pretty nice condition has a lot of good shine left as you can see here this american cruiser is ready to hit the road mm -hmm.